everybody, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a Christmas special. I know what you're thinking. Why would you have a Christmas special? What day is it, like the, the 8th when this goes up? My reasoning is just, uh, shut up. So in honor of the holiday season, I decided to do a little undercover work. Posing as a Facebook mom, I named her Lindsay. This is her picture right here. She's 30 years old. She lives in South Dakota. She works at Kohl's. She has two little boys and an ex-husband named Rick and uh, a wine addiction. Now, of course, she's obviously completely fabricated, so I made up this nice little character. I made up a quick little Facebook profile, and I decided to join some pages to see if I could get some helpful tips and recipe advice from other moms on Facebook for the Christmas season. So for this video, I had to go out and search for a classic Christmas mom Facebook page. And now I did this but just by typing in Christmas moms and just searching through. And now I finally found the page that I was meant to be in. Christmas Magic Mums. Now Christmas Magic Mums is very much your stereotypical Facebook Christmas mom page. They just post pictures of their kids, maybe a gingerbread house or two. And this was one of those kid pictures, by the way. Look at this. Do you see this? This is real. Are, are you kidding me? Can you imagine asking your kids to take this picture? This might count as child abuse. Ah, but anyways, let's start seeing what we can do. Laura posted in Christmas Magic Mums, best recommendation for an adult advent calendar. Go. Whenever I have my kids for Christmas, I just line up a different shop for the 25 days of Christmas. Now that my ex-husband Rick has them all the time, I just drink all the way up until Christmas Day, where I make all 25 drinks again and drink them all at once. On the 26th is when I check myself into rehab. Let's see, Amanda made a post here. Just wanted to share. When getting our Santa photos done on Sunday, my four-year-old daughter was asked what she'd like Santa to bring. Her response was, a bike for my baby brother who is due early January. When I asked her what she told Santa she wanted, she replied, nothing. I have everything I need. So happy she understands the spirit of Christmas and giving to others. And everyone's like, oh yeah, so what a nice, what a good little girl. But I said, man, she sounds way better than my kid. He keeps asking me for these Airwave Nick shoes. I keep telling him that I don't make enough at Kohl's to get him those, but he just doesn't listen to me. It's driving me mad. It's even worse because my ex-husband Rick buys him all the nicks he wants, and every time he comes home asking for more of them. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it! Speaking of, does anyone know any ways to make eggnog even more alcoholic? Jenny made a post here, it's pretty long, but I'm sure I can make it interesting. My darling girl was in prep school when a lovely boy in her class told her that Santa is not real. We discussed it, and I explained that lots of people believe in different things. Some believe in God, Santa, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy. Some believe in none of them. I told her that she can choose who and what she believes in. If the Tooth Fairy's real, then how come I'm the one putting a dollar under my kid's pillow every time his school bully knocks out another tooth? Checkmate, Jenny. And look, Jenny actually replied to me. It didn't even take that long. Sometimes the Tooth Fairy or Santa need a little help. They are very busy, they have a lot to do, and a lot of kids to look after. Sometimes mums and dads are sent special messages asking us to help out. Same reason sometimes Santa uses the same wrapping paper or tags as mummy. He comes and borrows them, or leaves us jobs to help out with. Thank you for enlightening me, Jenny, I had no idea. Penny made a post here. Is that really a name, Penny? It's got a nice picture of a tablecloth here and it says, too much red color? Any idea? <laughs> Thank you, beautiful ladies. <laughs> well, that is a really nice setup. Good for you, Penny, if that is your real name. I used to just use a white tablecloth, but one year I got really drunk on wine and spilled some red all over the tablecloth. Now it looks just like this one. The worst part is that was my favorite red wine too. Aww. Oh, look, this one lady posted some song lyrics. Actually, the only line I know. Please feel free to continue. And look, everyone's posting their own little song lyrics in here. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> you know, I want to get in on this. Let me see here. Uh... Stroke my, lick my, suck my cock. It's the Let's see, Lucy made a post. Any suggestions on a major present for a three-year-old? I don't really have any toy ideas for you. What I usually do is give my little tyke half a Valium. It brings him down enough so that I can watch the Real Housewives of Orange County in peace. Rachel posted, What can I use instead of egg in my gingerbreads? When I was married to my ex-husband Rick, I used to just spit into the gingerbread batter and let him eat the whole thing. 
Eventually he found out, and that's why he has full custody. Let's see. Alicia made a post here. Why cannot I find eggnog? I want eggnog. Sounds like you don't have an eggnog guy. I got an eggnog guy. He carries it all year round. What are you looking for? Alcoholic? Non-alcoholic? Kosher? Kwanzan? South Korean? Vodnog? Mike's Hardnog? Scotchnog? I got it all, Alicia. Hit me up. Alicia actually replied. She said, I just want non-alcoholic eggnog. <laughs> so I said, if you give me a way to get my kids to sit still during my wine drinking hour, I'll give you my nog guy's number. It seems like I'm blowing up with these Facebook moms. They all, they all think I'm really cool. They like my comments. And uh, an admin actually replied to this post. <laughs> Lindsay, so many of your comments get reported to admin that I now recognize your profile picture. <laughs> but I will never delete any of them because you are my spirit animal. Please spread your sass far and wide. Thank you, Chrissy. I'm just getting in the holiday spirit. Well, hey, that's the video. Um, I'd love to have shot more, but Facebook f***ing found my account. They thought it was very suspicious. Today, when I opened it up again, they wanted a picture of Lindsay for them to scan. And I sent them the same picture, but flipped the other way. And I don't think they approved it. So I can't get into the profile anymore. They caught me. Facebook caught me, but the moms didn't. So my cover is still safe with them. Um, I hope you liked the video. Hopefully I'll have more stuff like this soon. Wholesome channel update coming in, I don't know, before December's over. And, uh...